it's time to wrap my Arborvita hedge for the winter. I do this either whichever comes first, um, average temperatures around 30 degrees or having a snow that's going to bend these over and break them. This process should be the same regardless of what kind of Arborvita you have. This is the full speed of hedge. The American pillar, they get about 30 feet tall, up to 30 feet tall, two to five feet wide. In the past I've used these little bamboo cheap little stakes. They are not good. I'm gonna have a list of these down in the description. These are eight foot steel poles, plastic on them. And what I'm doing is putting one for every single tree. Then when I go to wrap them in burlap, they have something to brace up against because last winter when I wrapped them, the bamboo broke and some of them folded over, broke off the tops and even killed some of them. These are easy to push in. I'm just looking at the trees to see if they're leaning over one way or another or if I want them closer to the fence or closer to the driveway. And then I just put them down close to the trunk, push them in and move on to the next. And then I'll show you how I wrap these. I don't intend to tie the trees to these. I might um, when I unwrap the burlap, but for now, I'm just gonna wrap them in burlap and we should be good. Well, I drove this, the poles in yesterday. I probably should have went ahead and wrapped I expect them to smush out so quick. I like to use this for wrapping the trees. This is at Walmart. Current price is $4.47. Last year I believe I got it for $3 or something. But anyways, um, this is 30 feet by five and a half inches. Ultimately, I'll probably have one roll of this per tree so that I don't have to cut it and so that they'll all be similar length. I know it looks ridiculous, but this is what one of these trees looks like when it's all wrapped up. This was a 30 foot section. I went all the way up and all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I wrap these up, starting from the bottom with a whole roll. Go to the top, it's a little bit more than what I need, and then I start working my way back down. It's important to it's wrap it nice and tight so that you don't waste burlap and so that it um, holds up better. And you kind of just push the branches in as you go, wrapping your hands around it. Like I said, get it nice and tight. Ideally, if you have double coverage, um, otherwise you can see through the burlap, you can see the the green although if you wrap it twice then then you just see the brown from the burlap you want to do this before the ground freezes because if the ground's not frozen the trees can still suck up moisture through the ground when the ground freezes they can't do that so if the ground's frozen and you get some of these desiccating winds sun's beating down also they're going to turn brown this will help them help prevent that from happening I have had them turn brown before from not wrapping them soon enough, and then they do um, mostly turn green again and look like this great green color again before too long. If I lived in a warmer climate, I would happily not do this step to wrap them up in the winter, but we're about 6,000 feet above sea level. We get quite a bit of snow. It's just the beginning of October, uh, November now, actually. Um, we've already had multiple snows, and we will be getting lots of snow and drifts up against this fence, sometimes as tall as the fence. The neighbor's dogs walk right over. <laughs> Be careful with the tip tops of the trees, they're pretty delicate. this piece fold it up under one of the previous layers there it is two done 49 to go all right i know it looks pretty ridiculous but this is what they look like after i wrap them up just a bunch of weird looking <laughs> almost like fingers sticking up they'll stay like this for about six months five six months still sometime in april when we don't have to worry about the snow hitting again because they do especially these smaller ones they get folded over by the snow and then they break the bigger ones not so much but this one right here the super skinny one that one was folded over to the ground even with the light snow that we had i mean we had a couple feet of snow drifting over here this whole basketball court was covered up we still got a little bit in our grass right there
it's always easy to see the trash and rubble that, that gets blown around well these are so bound up but yeah i wrap them up before the ground freezes once the ground freezes then they are not going to be able to pull up moisture from the ground and then when it's real windy that's when they turn brown so they're still green you can see there's a little bit of gap there some of them are double wrapped most of them are single wrapped and then at the top it comes back down but this is how they'll stay for the next five to six months it's now beginning of november